Thank you all very much. Uh, though I'm obviously disappointed by tonight's outcome, and I know you are too, I am immensely proud of the campaign we ran. We were... We were very heavily outspent, but I'm proud that we ran on first principles and serious ideas based on those principles. We fought for the principles that were first articulated for the whole world by Virginians. And this is no ordinary governorship. This is the seat first occupied by Patrick Henry and Thomas Jefferson, a thought that every time I considered it, I found very humbling. Serving as Governor of Virginia is a special honor, and I hope Terry McAuliffe is successful in the role. Virginia needs that to happen. I'm honored by the support we had from many people across the Commonwealth. And though we didn't come out on top, you have made a difference, and tonight you have sent a message. You have sent a message tonight. I've spent my life fighting for Virginians. Thank you. And I'm grateful to all of you who fought for me. Thank you, Thank you. And there are literally thousands of those all over Virginia. We, sa we said this race was a referendum on Obamacare, and although I lost, Tonight, you sent a message to the President of the United States that you believe that Virginia understands that Obamacare is a failure and that you want to be in charge of your health care and not the government. At last count I was aware of, that despite being outspent by an unprecedented $15 million, this race came down to the wire because of Obamacare. Let me say that again. Despite being outspent by an unprecedented $15 million, this race came down to the wire because of Obamacare. That message will go out across America tonight. This administration told us that Virginians could keep their health insurance and their doctors and their, their costs wouldn't rise under Obamacare. But that was not true. And they knew it wasn't true. We were lied to by our own government in, an, in its effort to restrict our liberty. I'm grateful. I am grateful to God for getting me through this race. You can tell by my voice that not all of me got all the way through the race. But I'd like to recognize also the members of my family and many dear friends here tonight. Uh, this has been a long journey for my family. And I don't mean this race. I mean the whole battle. The battle goes on. And I'm, I'm grateful to my family and our friends, our many friends, many new friends that you make and find, some in the most unlikely of places uh, all across Virginia. That support has gotten us through. That support has gotten us, us through. I hope you all know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. I see a lot of people here from the Attorney General's office, and of course I have a special place in my heart for those folks that I have worked with on behalf of Virginia for four years. They have sacrificed much to work on your behalf. 
and on behalf of all Virginians. But I want to thank Tiro for sharing this journey with me. One more example that all men marry up. But, <laughs> but without her love and support, I couldn't have made it through this campaign or any of the four previous ones. Uh, as I've told many of you many times, she works a lot harder than I do. Uh, you know, I know it when I say we homeschool. Yay. I'm the dean of students. <laughs> but she carries her load in half of mine and has for a dozen years so that we could fight for the first principles that we share on behalf of all of you. Now, I've always said that the worst thing that happens to me in any election is that I lose and get to more, spend more time at home. I like going home. And I'm looking forward to spending more time with Tiro and these wonderful children here. Uh, my parents are here as well. They deployed to Virginia about a month ago. Um, and my father has blazed a single-handed campaign trail across the Commonwealth, and many of you have met him. <laughs> and my mother has helped us, when we thought the pedal was all ready to the metal, do a little bit more. And, uh, and we appreciate it very much. Uh, that's been absolutely critical. Um, and you've You've, uh, I, I'll spare you the stories and all the jokes. We'll share them 500 times in our own family. Being half Irish, it'll be funny every time. So, and both my brothers are here. My doctor brother came in this race here late, and he was an interesting addition to the campaign. Got to bracket the president upon his arrival, uh, which was very appropriate when the focus of this race was Obamacare toward the end. And he was a great help in that respect and has been a great supporter and many others. And then the one family member who could vote for me, Chris, uh, was here and working and doing every little thing for so long and through many races. And I remember the first one where he slept in our living room while we carried that race on. And I have uh, aunts and uncles here. I have my cousins here. Uh, we have so much family that did more than they've ever done before. And some of them have been, so many of them have all been engaged in helping us one way or another. Uh, it has been a great a testament just to family itself. I also want to thank my great campaign team uh, who worked hard and sacrificed an awful lot to get our message throughout Virginia as best we possibly could in the face of some rather serious obstacles. And from victory offices to headquarters to out in every community in Virginia, I want to thank all of you for burning the candle at both ends, as you all did, and to our thousands of volunteers who even made this race possible. You all were the backbone of this race, and I will take you back five years to a conversation Tiro and I had before we finally decided to get in the Attorney General's race in March of 2008. We took the view, and remember what March of 2008 looked like for Republicans. Oh, it was a grand time to get in a race. <laughs> but we decided that, first of all, we knew what kind of race we would run. The same first principles I'm talking to you about tonight have animated every campaign we've ever run. They, the foundation starts, as it always should, with proper campaigns in America with first principles. And we, we understood, and we said it out loud, if there are enough people in Virginia who share our commitment to those first principles, we can't lose. And if there aren't, especially in that kind of an environment, we can't win. And we got more votes for Attorney General 
than ever before. Virginians still cherish the first principles that Virginians brought forward to the whole world. They do. <laughs> Constitutional conservatism and free market ideas are alive in Virginia. And the more Virginians see their liberty eroded through a bigger government and an out of control health care law, which is the leading example of it right now, the more brightly, not the less brightly, the more brightly that flame of liberty is going to burn in Virginia. And that's why this battle is not over with this race. It goes on and it will continue to go on. Our campaign was focused on the guiding principle that our Commonwealth and our country are at their best when we remove government barriers to innovation, ingenuity, and individual freedom. Those, those are the principles that I've worked for every day of my life in public office and for which I will continue to work, whether or not I'm in public office. It all starts with remembering our founding ideals, the same ideals that Patrick Henry and James Madison and Thomas Jefferson stood for and that George Washington fought for. These principles are why I entered public office public service. They're why I entered this race for governor, to fight and preserve our freedoms for all Virginians, now and into the future. They were delivered to us as a blessing, and they are a burden to us to deliver to the next generation and the one after that. Yeah. And I want to thank you all for your loving support. I'm grateful to God for the opportunity to represent all of you, all 8.2 million Virginians, first now as a Republican nominee for governor, but also as your attorney general, and before that in the state Senate. And for all the great Virginians I met traveling throughout the Commonwealth, I still believe that the greatest resource we have in Virginia is Virginians. And no election can change that. Thank you all very much. God bless you. God bless Virginia and America.